Okay, here it is. The trip has begun. Trout Lake. Cold Springs Campground. Arrived about a half hour ago. 5,600 feet. We're setting up camp. Say hi, guys. Hello, Hello Alex. Video. Hello, everyone. Videoing that everybody's got a beer in their hand. Everything looks good for tomorrow. Lots of bravado. You know, things are going to be so successful right now. So it all looks good. We're off at 6.15 with heavy packs, ski boots, and skis for Parent and I. Other guys are maybe more sane without that stuff. Beautiful morning. We had a get up, sat underneath the stars, had breakfast, first light, and we're off. Okay, here we are. We're about a half hour into it, and we're shedding a layer. There's Alex with his skis. It's looking good. It's now St. Helens. And then coming around, and there is Hood, and there's the route we came up. There's Pear, we're here at the uh, pretty much where we're going to put on our crampons and start all in snow. We uh, got up to 8,200 feet in two hours, so that's 3,000 feet in two hours, pretty good. Here's the ridge we climbed up on. It's good, we're going to stow our poles, break out our ice axes and crampons and get going. Snow's pretty firm right now, but it should soften up later so these guys could have a really good ski run. Here come Alex and Steve up to our crampon site where we're going to get on the snow. Looking good. We've been hiking just great. We've really been making really good time. It's going to be a great. There's the slope we're going to climb up and there's the summit. We're really looking at uh, Piker's Peak. We come up and over that ridge and we've got another 800 feet to go. I think. Okay, the start of the snow fields. That beastly path. Okay, here we are. Beastly. Arriving beastly. at a little break spot uh, above lunch counter, 9,600 feet. There's Alex carrying his extra weight. It's like a big stone. Big stone. There's lunch counter down there. Uh, it's a beautiful day, a little breezy up here, but uh, perfect, perfect conditions. It's very good. There's Pear, stuff in his face. It is steep, and it is crusty, and the wind's blowing, and these skis are sticking up and catching the wind, and it's uh, quite an adventure. Okay, we just came over uh, Piker's Peak. We're above 11,000. The wind was just blowing like crazy. Some other climbers descending, but it's beautiful. We're almost there. The air's looking good. Doing good. Just a one last little push. Should be there in an hour, I think. Mount St. Helens in the distance. The summit blowing pretty hard. It's so clear. The air is not very near in the distance. This down from the summit, just a handful of feet, but it makes all the difference in the world because it's blowing like a banshee on the other side. But down here, it's nice and calm. And Pear is loading up. He's got his boots on. Took his skis all the way to the top. The height of foolishness. I left mine at the uh, what's the name of that other peak? Piker's Peak. Pike's Peak. Piker's Peak. Don't be a piker. Because this part looks suspected best to me. Oh boy, that's a good one. Like it could be the worst ski conditions I have ever seen. Yeah, it's hard. It's crusty. We're still just kind of hanging out. Here up at the summit. There's the old cabin, the old shack. We're right just below the summit. That's the summit right there because it's incredibly windy and cold, probably in the upper 20s, 30s. There's Steve hanging out. And there's Alex. You can see we're all bundled up. So here we are. I am too. Right That's one of the reasons why. I guess the big blows on because just kind of hanging out. That is very hard and crusty. Okay, here Steve and I are in the glissade chute, about ready to start glissading. Wish us luck, Chris. Okay, here we are. We glissaded down. Um, I think we're probably about 8,700 feet. Beautiful glissade. And Pear skied down. Here he is. And Alex skied down, and we're just below the lunch counter, so we're probably about 8,800 feet. Very quick descent of 2,000 feet. You gotta love it.
Pear and I have left Steve and Alex very far behind on our ski descent. At least we think it's very far. It has to be pretty far. Had a great ski down after we got off the crusty icy top. That was horrifying. The top. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it was nothing like Snowbird. <laughs> yeah, no, it was not like Snowbird. But the bottom half was better. Yeah, it was good. Okay, here we are, post climb at camp. Beers in hand. Looking good, everybody's tired. It's good. It's a good day. It's a really good day. We all have a great time. All right.